Tight ends is always one of the most important positions in fantasy football, but it's really hard to find a consistent producer outside the Travis Kelseys and George Kittles. That's why we look for breakout tight ends that can really pay dividends based on their average draft position. Is Chris Herndon one of those breakout players for 2020? Here for that is SI Fantasy Analyst Michael Fabiano and the editor of Jets Country, Christian Dyer. Christian, I'll go to you first. Last year, Herndon, he only played in one game. He only had one catch. What are you expecting to see out of the Jets tight end in 2020? I, I don't think it's far-fetched to think that Chris Herndon can probably return to his production from his rookie year, where he had over uh, 500 receiving yards. This is an offense that likes to utilize the tight end. It's an offense that made Ryan Griffin, uh, who's a bit of a cast-off from the Houston Texans, turn him into a good, solid, respectable, uh, in particular, red zone threat. So at the end of the day, Chris Herndon is someone who is healthy now, can bounce back. He showed during his rookie year plenty of promise. He should be a big part of the Jets passing offense, if only for the fact that their wide receiver core is still in flux. And he had a good chemistry with Sam Darnold when the two of them were rookies two seasons ago. I think Chris Herndon is someone who's going to be a sleeper for some good, solid production this year for the Jets. Fabs, let me go over to you. I said in the beginning, if you, if you don't get a Kelsey, a Kittle, a Mark Andrews, how are you approaching the tight end position for your fantasy draft? Are you focusing on a guy like Herndon, maybe in the double digit rounds? Yeah, as a tight end, too, absolutely. And, and there's a lot of them, right? I mean, you could bring up Jonu Smith and Ian Thomas and TJ Hawkins and Noah Fant. I could just keep going, but Herndon is sort of in that group, right? We did see him have success as a rookie, uh, over 500 yards. He was also named to the Pro Football Writers Association's all-rookie team, had four touchdowns. He's really sure-handed as well. He only had one drop in 2018. He's got a really good rapport with Sam Darnold, and Darnold trusts him. Remember that Herndon was second in first down catches for the Jets back in 2018, only one shy of the team leader, who was Robbie Anderson. And Donald likes to use the tight ends. You know, we heard about Ryan Griffin last year. He was fantasy relevant. And we've also heard Jamison Crowder, his teammate, compare Herndon to Jordan Reed. Now, let's hope that comparison means he's athletic and can do a lot on the field, and not that he's injury prone. I feel like Crowder was probably talking about the former. So what I think in Herndon, he is a very good late round target as a tight end two with a lot of upside in that Jets offense. For more of those targets and for some sleepers, go to si.com slash fantasy.